Six days until Christmas, the cold front is here. How's weather looking closer to the new year? Well, we're going to tell you in this Thursday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. <laughs> Good morning. It is Thursday, the 19th of December, 2024. I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer. And yeah, cold front made its way through the state yesterday. A couple folks got lucky with a quick downpour, some thunderstorms, but that is gone. In its wake, we're starting off on the cool side this morning. Definitely not as cold as we could be this time of year, but also warmer. Well, not really warmer, no, cooler than the last few days. Apparently, it's Dyslexic Thursday for me. Oh, well, at least we have one morning without widespread fog for the southeastern half of the state. Let's take a look at the high-res rapid refresh model for today, tonight, into Friday. Here you go. You can see north winds begin to shift back to the south as we get into tonight and Friday. Increasing clouds by Friday morning in deep south Texas. Maybe a few light showers drizzle. Maybe a bit of fog down there, but otherwise, just high clouds for west Texas and the Panhandle with the rest of the state maintaining mostly clear skies today and tomorrow. So we take a look at the fire weather outlook from the Texas A&M Forest Service. Today and Friday will feature high wildfire danger in the Panhandle, West Texas, especially along and west of Interstate 27. And as we get into Saturday, low to moderate fire danger for most of Texas, well, all of Texas, and well, the same goes for both today and tomorrow. Let's take a look at the Long Range American Weather Model Global Forecast System. This will go through the weekend towards Christmas Day. Well, we're going to see the continuation of those south winds start to bring in increasing amounts of moisture as we get into early next week. Maybe some light rain this weekend along the lower Texas Gulf Coast, the Rio Grande Valley. So we get into Sunday afternoon, you can see increasing cloud cover, some light showers, maybe the eastern half of the state. As we go into Monday morning, increasing drizzle, fog, cloud cover across, well, a decent chunk of the state. As a cold front comes in from the west, you can see the possibility of scattered showers and thunderstorms will become more likely. Monday evening into Tuesday, Christmas Eve, you can see we may actually have a large area of showers, maybe thunderstorms, move across the eastern half of the state. Tuesday of next week, which would be Christmas Eve. At this point, unless things slow down, it looks like we'll still have that system moving out in time for Christmas Day, leaving mostly quiet weather and clear skies for the state of Texas next Wednesday with above average temperatures likely. Uh, so again, main weather maker between now and Christmas Day will likely be Monday night into Christmas Eve itself with the possibility of thunderstorms in the eastern half of Texas on Tuesday. As we get closer, we'll be able to become more specific on timing, forecast, rain amounts, etc. At this point, the severe weather threat does not look high. Temperatures over the next five days. Well, today we're looking at 50s in the Arklatex, Northeast Texas, and the Panhandle with everyone else in the 60s and 70s. As we get into Friday, cooler air trying to filter in from the Northeast with high temperatures. Oh, there's a yawn. Across Texoma, Northeast Texas, and the Eastern Panhandle generally at about 50 degrees. We're going to be in the 60s and 70s southern half of the state. Saturday, coolest weather will be across the eastern third of Texas with cool air damming coming in from the higher terrain of Arkansas, Missouri. With highs in the eastern third of Texas, low to mid 50s. Western two-thirds of Texas, we're looking at 60s to lower 70s. Warming up a bit on Sunday, starting to see upper 70s return to deep south Texas, the Big Bend region, with still highs in the 50s northeastern quarter of the state. And as we get into next week, Monday highs, 50s in the panhandle with 60s, but a lot of 70s and even lower 80s returning to Texas. And that will be the trend as we go into Tuesday and Christmas Day. At this point, forecast high temperatures on Christmas Day across the state are in the 60s, 70s, and even lower 80s. So it is not going to be a cold Christmas this year. And again, main issue will be Christmas Eve with the potential for showers and thunderstorms across the eastern half of Texas. Here's a long-range temperature outlook from the Climate Prediction Center as we get 
into the final week of December and 2024 for that matter. We're looking at above average temperatures across the entire continental United States, at least a high likelihood of that. You can see the Great Lakes have a pretty good chance of being quite warm as well. And in terms of precipitation, a relatively active weather pattern is expected Christmas week into, well, New Year's across most of the United States, leading to above average precipitation chances. Whether or not the above average temperatures plus above average chance for precip results in a stormier weather pattern in terms of stronger storms is yet to be seen, but We'll keep an eye on it. At this point, though, Tuesday does not look like a big severe weather day. Some storms, there might be enough instability for maybe some gusty winds, small hail, but it does not look like a big severe weather day in terms of, you know, big hail, big wind, or tornadoes at this point. But we'll keep an eye on it just in case something changes. But at this point, for like the fifth time I've said that this minute, I just want to emphasize it doesn't look like a big spinny spinny doom doom day. As always, you can get your local weather forecast, interactive weather radar, and more no matter where you are in the United States with the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app. Just search for Texas Storm Chasers where you download apps for your device. You can also find us here on YouTube. Just search for Texas Weather Center. Thanks for tuning in on this Thursday. We'll be back bright and early with your Friday Texas Weather Roundup. Have a great day. We'll keep an eye on things. God bless. Mm -hmm.